said in the studio, when the best players in the world have a shaky start to a tournament, beware, because they will find the gear at some stage. And Jimmy, Sean has found it. Absolutely. You know, it looked like he was going out with Liam Highfield. So many times Stephen Hendry would play bad. It would get to four each and he'd win that decider with one visit and then go on to win the tournament. And uh, Murphy feels like probably he shouldn't be in the tournament and he sort of looks very loose, doesn't he? Yeah, and the thing about Murphy is he's always got that cue action to fall back on. Whatever happens, you know, even if he has a bad day or generally he's not in the best of form, he's got a wonderful way of hitting the ball, which is with him for life. You know, it's ingrained as a 15-year-old when he turned pro, it was there, it's still there now. So it's nice to have something like that in your armoury always. Yeah, well, a little bit of an appreciation society, but let's just whiz through those frames after the mid-session and then yeah. we'll get over, of course, to Martin Gold against Zhao Gadong. Let's pick up the frame for Well, this is just unbelievable. I, he, he took so long on the shot, he didn't know whether to screw the pink in. Then he decided just to stab the pink in, play on the pink in the same pocket and missed it. And then Murphy played a real nice shot there. Yeah. Rick, Ricky Ward, you can't miss pinks like that. No, divided concentration, you know, thinking about the wrong thing at the wrong time. And we've all been there. But, you know, he got himself in a bit of a mess. He's been playing matches on the outside tables and in the back room yeah. earlier in the week. Mm. And, um, you know, he moved into onto the under the spotlight. And the, on the day, he hasn't really coped with it that well, to be honest. Yeah, no. it, was it was disappointing. He was showing signs that he could go really deep. Yeah, into the you know, he's wearing, he's wearing trainers um, because obviously he's still struggling with his back and that, you know. But Ricky Warden is a superb player. He just didn't play well today at all. And the few chances he had, you don't take them against Murphy. It get bigger and bigger and, yeah. you know, more sort of bullish around the table and they uh, take full advantage. And as he did, free him six mm. nil. Well, this is it. I mean, we hate to highlight mistakes, but this was a howler because the blue, while the blue's safe, neither player's likely to win the frame, but he tried to pot the brown and cannon the blue out. Well, unfortunately, he got part of the shot. That was a cannon on the blue, but if you miss the brown, no good to you whatsoever. Well, Joe pointed out in commentary, the way he's hit the brown is the only way that you can get the cannon on the blue, and he's exactly. the brown so it wasn't on. Yeah, so he, he, that's a gift now, and, you know, when Walden needed to raise his game, it went the other way. You know, he, he got worse, and Murphy is just exuding confidence no. by now, isn't yeah. he? So how much of it was Sean playing well and Ricky not turning up today? I think I think Murphy played good, you know, mm. he, he played good. Played well early, didn't he? He played good, but, you know, um, for Murphy, for, listen, I miss m uh, as many balls as anybody, but, you know, he just, he just seems to miss the odd one mm. and I just can't make out why. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not pressure, maybe a lapse of concentration, and he gives his, he gives his opponent that extra sort of uh, lifeline when he shouldn't have it. He did have his chances in every single yes. frame, to be fair, including this last one. Yes. Yeah, he did. He had chances all the way through, but at 5-1, we, as we explained, it's quite unusual. Uh, Ding got beaten for 5-1 down, but that doesn't happen very often. Oh. The safety shots were going wrong, and what he's doing now, and what we've seen in those three frames there, is Murphy's not even had to create these chances. They've right. been handed to him on a plate, and uh, with his lead and with his, his confidence or persona, He's not going to turn those down. And, uh, you know, here he is playing all the big shots as ever. You know, the thing about Murphy, right, is you know, when he lost... He's been losing to O'Sullivan, but he beat him in the Champion of Champions final, and that he was the one play he didn't fancy him to beat. So right. he must have taken Some a boost out of that. Now he's on the big stage again. But he might fancy his chances of going all the way. Dave Hendon pointed out that the general feeling when seeds start getting knocked out in the tournament, it does get edgy. Yes. You're no longer in the long grass, it's just you and your own. And he's there to be hit in that part of the draw. And every player in that draw will fancy it because of what's happened this week. It, it makes that type of performance even more impressive. Yeah, it does. He, certainly everyone's think, looking at each other thinking, is it going to be my wig? Is it going to be mine? Obviously, the O'Sullivan shadow is over them all. He's still there and he's a multiple, you know, triple crown winner. So he's going to keep them all honest and say, well, we've still got to overcome him somewhere um, to, to be UK champion. From 6.45 tonight on Eurosport, and people will be watching this afternoon, they'll be watching this evening, and, you know, what an incentive this is. The chance to go to the Masters, all they have to do is send a picture in of themselves wherever they are, are sitting, watching it, whether it be in the passenger seat of a car pulled up, in a caravan. I don't know whether anyone's watching in a caravan, but whatever it is, just send them in. Hashtag Eurosport Snooker for one reason. 
it's just a bit of fun and we're very laid back here and we want to be as connected as we can to everyone watching but also two tickets to the masters jimmy's going to take you for a bit of lunch i'm going to show you around the studio neil will get his almanac out if they're big snooker fans that'll be a lot of fun <laughs> don't give me that look so we got some more Let's show a few oh, more. Cool. Honestly, we've been getting hundreds in. Oh, look, the pussy Busy cat Busy being again. a housewife and mother. Unfortunately, snooker will get interrupted soon. School run time. Very nice. Well, you probably left and not seen Murphy win, actually. So, and then when you, but what you need to do there, uh, uh, Mrs. Parker, is pretend you, when everyone gets home, pretend you haven't watched any snooker. Oh, I've been run off my feet today, and then you can watch the evening <laughs> session, and you can watch Ronnie. I, I really like that one, and I like the story. You know what you send in on the tweet is really important as well, so I like that. Um, so hello to you and your kids if you're tuned in. Let's, let's just do one more for now, because we've got, we got to show a bit of legs sometimes, and that's exactly what we've done. Interesting footwear. 12-hour <laughs> night shift. Star Wars stor Stormtrooper uh, slippers. I normally watch snooker wearing those as well. We've all got a pair of those, haven't yeah. we? Those Star Wars Stormtrooper slippers. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, I, I don't no, have them. I've no. never seen them before in my life. <laughs> I've never even seen I'm, Star Wars. Do you so. know what? I'm, I'm, you're not a Star Wars fan. No, I've never seen it. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to have those. If I uh, imagine having those slippers and never having seen Star Wars, that would I be know. weird, wouldn't it? It would be very weird. I was born in '77. The year it came out, so I was nearly called Luke. It was changed at changed at the last minute. That's an equally as dull story. Yeah. Um, That's all right. The, uh, the, the I'm trying to think of a Star Wars connection to any snooker player, but I don't think anyone's ever had that nickname, have they? Uh, we have in 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 uh, darts. Um, Slipped out of my mind. Canadian dart pl player, the only one. No, John Park. John Park, nickname, Darth Maple. That's right. Yeah. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I've, seen that, I've yeah. got you one. Well, let me yeah. tell you something. There's strange things going on over in the Eurosport players. <laughs> something on the dark side. Always with Martin Gold. Have a look at this. This is what he's been doing in the uh, in between frames. He's got the sandpaper out, but either himself or Xiao Gudong, centre sandman for them. Live next.